it's Lisa here from Capstone Editing. In this video, I'll be sharing some basic advice regarding converting thesis chapters into journal articles for publication. The advice will be useful for postgraduate students from all fields. The first consideration is exactly when you want to make the conversion of your chapters to submit them for publication. It can be difficult to decide whether to submit your thesis chapters in the form of journal articles for publication before or after you submit your thesis. On one hand, the more journal articles you've published, the better, especially if you'll be seeking an academic position or grant funding following your PhD. And if many of your chapters are already published, then your thesis reviewers will hopefully have very little to add. On the other hand, getting a manuscript ready for publication can make can take much longer than putting a chapter together for your thesis and can waste precious time that you need for finishing your PhD. Ideally, you will have a combination of the two, a few chapters that you can turn into published chapters earlier in your PhD and a few chapters written only for the thesis to begin with that once you've submitted, you'll be able to convert into journal articles. Many people have to wait quite a long time between submitting their thesis and when it's finally accepted and then often have another wait for job offers after that. So this is an ideal time to get those journal articles published to keep your productivity up. I have a few tips for turning your thesis chapters into manuscripts for publication that hopefully you'll find helpful. The most important thing is to take a step back and evaluate the aims and scope of your planned journal article. A thesis chapter will be a continuation of previous work in the thesis and will of course be tied to the main aims of your PhD and your overall research study, whereas a journal article needs to stand alone as a body of work. So the number of chapters in your thesis that are actually suitable for conversion into a journal article will depend on your research topic and often your field. Those in the sciences might find they have several chapters that each contain separate research projects and results that can stand alone as journal articles. Whereas those of us from the humanities and social sciences might find that there's really only one or maybe two journal articles that you can get out of your thesis. And it might be that you need to create them from information contained across the whole thesis rather than just in one or two specific chapters. The first thing you need to do is make a summary of the main results, findings or arguments in your chapter and make sure you have clear, standalone aims for the manuscript. A thesis chapter has no word limit, although your full thesis might, but your target journal will have very strict word limits for articles, so refine the data, research or information you want to include in order to present a clear story. For those in the sciences, this usually means moving any large tables and superfluous figures to the supplementary materials and only including data that's essential for the aims of this journal article. The next step is to rework your introduction. The introduction and the discussion are likely to need the most work. In a thesis, much of the background information will have been included in your general introduction chapter and therefore will be missing from the single chapter you're turning into a journal article. When reorganising and rewording your introduction for publication, use the pyramid approach of starting with the broader context and funneling down to the information on your specific research project or study. When working on the discussion, refer to your list of main results or arguments that I referred to earlier and be sure to only discuss these topics. That's my son, just ignore that noise. You also need to spend a bit more time discussing the implications of your work than you would in a thesis chapter, since in your thesis, this would again normally be included in a separate chapter. Finally, you'll have to reference and format your chapter following your target journal specific guidelines, which will usually be different to the guidelines you followed when writing your thesis. This often includes changing the reference system to referencing system to the one used by your target journal. The way you format your manuscript will vary depending on where you are intending to submit your article to. Your journal will outline their specific requirements on the submission or information for authors page on their website. For more detailed information on other aspects to consider, such as choosing an appropriate journal, you can refer to our blog article or video on publishing your first scientific paper. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have, please do like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. 
And if there's a specific topic that you'd like to receive advice on that we haven't yet covered, please feel free to email us at info at capstoneediting.com.au. Thanks for watching. Thank you.